What? Ah yes, Sonic Forces, a game I wasn't really excited for, but this was a game after buying and playing it, I kinda regret it. So to justify my time spent on it, I'm gonna make a video about it. Let's get into it. Sonic Forces begins with a cutscene. Eggman rants about how he's sick of Sonic's shit and wants to get rid of him for good. He makes the claim that this time, he will take him down. Yeah. Keep dreaming, buddy. The game then cuts to the first level with Sonic rushing to the city to see what all the commotion's about, only getting there just in time to save Tails and some of the other people from Eggman. Just as Sonic is about to give Eggman the beatdown, Eggman whips out the edgiest thing alive, kills Sonic, and that's it, man. That's where the game ends. <laughs> Ah, I'm just messing with you. We get a little time skip and we get to see that a resistance group has been formed to fight Eggman, led by Knuckles. Knuckles then brings in the OC. Bro, bro, fight the power! And information that Sonic is not dead, but rather captured and being tortured. Sonic. Oh hey, sounds like the party started. Wanna let me go and join in? No? Of course not. You hate fun. Yep, that looks like a tortured hedgehog to me. Anyway, this is where the party happens. You get to play through the wonderfully cheesy plot. All the levels you run through are mission-based. Well, you will be able to go through as Sonic, Classic Sonic, the OC, or the combination of Sonic with the OC. The game also has extra missions for you to do. If you're familiar with the more recent Sonic games, then I'd say this is closer to Sonic Colors with a hint of Sonic Generations. Sonic has the double jump and the quick step, which you'll be using a lot of. However, Sonic can't drift. But with the power of friendship, he can! The Wisps are back, but for Sonic, this will Will only help you fill the boost gauge. The wisps are mainly for your OC's weapon, the wisp bin. That's fucking stupid. You have the burst, cube, drill, lightning, asteroid, hover, and void. Overall, the OC's gameplay is just like modern Sonic's, but without the boost. However, with the power of friendship, you can boost. Then there's classic Sonic. He's trash. Now, Let's talk about the good. One of the more obvious positives is being able to create your own OC. While the base customization isn't exactly the best, when you get more clothes, it actually becomes a lot better. I got lost in the menus just trying to mess with my character's looks, and that was pretty much my highlight, I would say. Another positive of the game is the fact that the game has so many side missions for you to do. And of course you could go back to the previous levels to get a better time. If anything, this will give you an excuse to play with your OC more. This game also has Crocs. And a gamer hat for you gamers out there. Shut up. Now on to the negatives. Firstly, I think the story is absolute shit. When I was younger, I used to dream about all my favorite characters from the games I used to play, fighting in some immense battle along with my friends. We'd always say how cool it'd be if Blank showed up whoever that character might be. And that's what I feel like the writers did here, while also writing friendship is the best. Some of these characters straight up don't do anything besides look cool. You don't even get to fight Chaos, and you don't get to fight Shadow either. You get to play as him as the DLC, that's about it. You know, maybe that's all they need to do, sit there and look cool. Kids will eat it up anyway. But wait, you might say, aren't Sonic games about the gameplay rather than the story? The gameplay can't be that bad, right? Well... The gameplay isn't this bad. I just wanted to put this in the video. Let me get this out of the way. I went from playing Sonic Mania to Forces, and playing Classic Sonic was a goddamn insult. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go play Sonic Mania, please. As far as modern Sonic and the OC gameplay goes, with all the automated bits and annoying level design, it is just mid-core at best. There is something that the OC has that Sonic doesn't, the fucking drill. Using the drill is the only way I could have fun, because you can break the game. And I like breaking shit. Oh no! But just because I can break shit doesn't mean I'm gonna give the gameplay a pass. It's because this is unintended. And if you have the game yourself already, try it. So with that being said, you wanna play Sonic Forces? If you're interested in the game, you can wait for the price to drop. Or maybe you can borrow it from your friend. Or you could join me and the others with buyer's remorse and get it at full price. 
The choice is yours. But that's it for me. I'm out. Yeah.